my dear students welcome back to our channel in this video i will be explaining the bachelor of commerce 6th semester subject cyber security as prescribed by usmania university and other universities of telangana we will go through the important questions and answers one by one let's begin with a quick revision unit 2 the important short question is 1 what are web applications a web application is a software or program that runs on a web browser like chrome firefox instead of being installed on your computer you can access it using the internet from anywhere anytime example when you use google docs ircTC for train booking or flipkart for shopping you are using web applications key features no need to install just open in browser works on multiple devices mobile laptop etc needs internet connection stores data on cloud online servers in cyber security web apps can be targets for hackers if not secured properly they can steal your data so web app security is very important easy tip to remember web apps is equal to online tools you use through a browser next important short question is to dot what is identity and access management iam iam is a cyber security method that helps control who can access what in a computer system or website it checks the identity of users and gives permission based on their role example in a college portal students can view their marks teachers can upload marks admin can manage all data i am makes sure each person only sees or does what they are allowed to key functions of i am authentication checking who you are example login with password or otp authorization giving access to specific data or features monitoring keeping track of user actions why it's important it prevents unauthorized access and protects sensitive data like bank info employee records or exam results easy tip to remember i am is equal to right person right access at the right time next important short question is 3 system information management sim what is system information management sim system information management sim means collecting storing and managing all the important data about a computer system or network this helps in monitoring troubleshooting and securing the system example in a school computer lab sim keeps records like which computer is being used what software is installed when updates were done any security issues or errors why is sim important in cyber security it helps it teams find problems quickly tracks any suspicious activity keeps the system safe and updated bonus sim tools are often used in big companies to check for cyber attacks track user activity and make sure everything is working well easy tip to remember sim is equal to systems health report card it tells what's happening inside the system just like a doctor checks your body next important short question is for what is soap soap stands for simple object access protocol it is a protocol set of rules used for sharing data between computers or web services over the internet it uses xml format to send messages which makes it easy for different systems even built in different languages to talk to each other example imagine a weather app on your phone wants to show today's weather it can use soap to ask a weather server what's the weather today in delhi the server replies using soap in xml format 
Why is SOAP important in cyber security? SOAP ensures the data being shared is well structured, secure, and reliable. It often uses HTTPS for safe communication. Easy tip to remember SOAP is equal to messenger that follows strict rules. It helps systems talk safely over the internet using XML. Next unit to important long questions. First important long question is 1. Explain the basic security for HTTP applications and services. White heavy check mark basic security for HTTP applications and services. HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol is used for browsing websites and using web apps. But basic HTTP is not secure, hackers can steal data like passwords or OTPs while it's being sent. So, we need some basic security methods to protect users and data. 1. Use HTTPS instead of HTTP. HTTPS, HTTP Secure, adds encryption using SSL TLS. This means data like your passwords or card details are converted into secret code while traveling over the internet. Example When you shop on Amazon, the site uses HTTPS to keep your payment safe. 2. Authentication Web apps must verify users before giving access. Use username and password. Add OTP to factor authentication for extra security. Example Your Gmail asks for password and then sends an OTP to your phone. 3. Input Validation Websites should check user input to stop hackers from entering harmful code like in SQL injection attacks. Example In login forms, the system must not accept special codes like drop table which can damage databases. 4. Session Management When you log in, a session starts. If not handled properly, hackers can steal sessions. Use Session Timeout, Auto Logout After Inactivity Secure Cookies Logout Button 5. Error Handling Web apps should not show detailed error messages to users. Hackers can use this info to attack. Instead, show simple messages like Something went wrong. Please try again. Easy tip to remember. SAIC is equal to Secure Connection HTTPS Authentication Input Validation Session Management Error Handling These steps help keep your data, identity, and transactions safe when using any web application or service. Next important long question is To explain basic security for SOAP services. What are SOAP services? SOAP, Simple Object Access Protocol, is a way for web applications to talk to each other using messages in XML format. It is often used in banking, healthcare, and government systems. Since SOAP is used to send important data, we need to secure it to protect from hackers. Basic Security for SOAP Services Let's understand how we keep SOAP services safe. 1. Use HTTPS Just like websites, SOAP messages should be sent over HTTPS, not HTTP. HTTPS adds encryption, so messages can't be read or changed while they travel. Example A bank's SOAP service sends your account info over HTTPS, so no one can steal it. 2. WS Security Web Service Security SOAP supports a special standard called WS Security. It helps by Adding user authentication, like username password tokens. Adding digital signatures to check if the message is genuine. Encrypting message parts for privacy. 3. Message Integrity 
Use digital signatures to make sure the message is not changed during transmission. Example If a hospital sends a SOAP message with a patient report, a digital signature confirms it wasn't tampered with. 4. Authentication and Authorization Make sure only trusted users or systems can access the SOAP service. This can be done with Username Password API keys or tokens Certificates 5. Limit access and validate input Allow only required users to access the service and always validate input data to prevent attacks like XML injection. Easy tip to remember SOAP security is equal to h.w.a.m.l H HTTPS W WS Security A Authentication M Message Integrity L Limit Access These steps help make SOAP services safe, private, and trustworthy for sharing sensitive data online. Next important long question is 3. What are the different security considerations for web server? What is a web server? A web server is a computer or software that stores websites and delivers them to users through the Internet. Websites like Amazon, YouTube, and IRCTC run on web servers. Since they are open to the public, hackers often target them. So, we must follow some security steps to protect them. Security considerations for web servers. 1. Keep software updated. Always update the web server software like Apache, NGINX, IIS. Old versions may have security bugs that hackers can use. Example, just like you update your phone apps, servers also need updates. 2. Use HTTPS. Use HTTPS instead of HTTP to encrypt the data between server and user. It keeps passwords and other data safe from hackers. Example, when you shop online, your data is protected through HTTPS. 3. Firewall Protection Use firewalls to block unwanted traffic and attacks. A firewall acts like a security guard for your server. 4. Strong passwords and user access control. Use strong passwords and give access only to people who really need it. Don't let everyone change server settings. Example, just like you don't give house keys to everyone, don't give admin rights to all users. 5. Disable unused services. Turn off all unnecessary services or ports. Fewer open doors is equal to fewer ways for hackers to enter. 6. Monitor server logs. Keep checking server logs for suspicious activities. This helps catch hackers early. 7. Backup regularly. Always keep backups of your website. If the server is attacked, you can restore your data quickly. Easy tip to remember. UHF PDMB. U Update Software H HTTPS F Firewall P Password Protection D Disable Unused Services M Monitor Logs B Backup Data These basic steps keep your web server safe, fast, and hacker-free. Next important long question is 4. Explain various authorization process patterns v.imp What is authorization? Authorization means deciding what a user is allowed to do after they log in, are authenticated. It controls access to features, files, or data. Authorization process patterns There are different patterns or methods used to manage authorization in systems. Let's understand the main ones. 1. Role-based access control, RBAC. In this method, users are given roles, like student, teacher, admin, and each role has certain permissions. Example. 
student can view marks teacher can enter marks admin can manage everything easy tip role decides the goal two attribute based access control abac here access is given based on attributes of the user resource or environment example a user can access a file only if they are from the hr department and it's during office hours easy tip access depends on facts 3 rule based access control this method uses predefined rules to allow or deny actions it's often used in firewalls or network access example rule only allow login from indian ip addresses easy tip follow the rule to get the tool 4 discretionary access control dac here the owner of the data decides who gets access example you share a google doc and decide who can edit or view it easy tip owner is the decider 5 mandatory access control mac access is based on security levels not user choice common in military or government systems example only top level officers can view top secret files easy tip access by security label final tip to remember rardm is equal to role based attribute based rule based discretionary mandatory each pattern helps control who can do what keeping systems safe and organized I hope you understand easily each question. All the best students for your upcoming exam. For other subject quick revision. Important questions. Previous question papers. And syllabus. Links are available in description. Check out once. Thank you for watching. Like and share this video with your friends.